So I've done a lot of cooking in my life and sometimes I did that cooking in some kind of fancy restaurants, but it wouldn't be until the year 2020 that I learned about the Dish Lobster Thermidor. In the early days of the panorama, I spent countless hours going through old video games and enjoying my newfound free time. While playing a little Sims 2, I noticed a strange high level dish, Lobster Thermidor. Now, I don't speak much French or nothing, but I figured, oh, okay, yeah, it's a baked lobster, cool. After a couple weeks of managing the lives of little pixel people, I moved on to play a game where I could manage a couple restaurants. In Restaurant Empire 2, about halfway through the game, there it was again. What is this dish, I wondered, and why do all these game designers think it's like the creme de la creme of cuisine? So I did a little digging, and okay, it's not like it's featured in a lot of games, but I was able to find five games featuring Lobster Thermidor in it, counting The Sims franchise as a single game. These five games were Restaurant Empire 2, The Sims 2, 3, and 4, YouTuber's Life 2, Cooking Mama 5, Bon Appetit, and uh, Lego Batman Lobster Thermidor Cook-Off. Now, I don't know if this one counts, but it literally has Lobster Thermidor in the name, and I don't care if it's just a simple Flash game, I think it counts for these purposes. So yeah, I don't know, wild. Like I said, I just never heard of this before. So now that we have established a trend, let's go over a couple questions I had when I was faced with this information. One, what the heck is Lobster Thermidor? Two, why do so many games treat it like food for royalty? And three, is it even a complicated or highbrow dish? So yeah, on to the first question. What the fuck even is Lobster Thermidor? So, Lobster Thermidor is apparently a French dish made with lobster, wine, and cheese, amongst other ingredients. These three ingredients are what you might call the stars of the dish. Because these ingredients are relatively expensive, the dish has, for better or worse, been considered a dish for special occasions, whatever that means. And because of the preparation involved, it's not likely a dish people love preparing for themselves. So for the history of this dish, I'm just going to read you the history section from the Lobster Thermidor Wikipedia page, because there's just no shot I'll be able to summarize this better than the wiki. So it states, in January 1891, the play Thermidor by Victorien Sardo opened in the Comédie Française Theatre. The play took its name from a summer month in the French Republican calendar during which the Thermidorian reaction in 1794 occurred, overthrowing Robespierre and ending the Reign of Terror. The recipe of lobster Thermidor was possibly created at Café de Paris by Leopold Maurier, a former assistant to Auguste Escoffier, or it was created in 1894 at Chez Marie. Another source says it was created at Maison Mer, whose owner Mle Payard sold the restaurant to Maurier. Maison Mer was a Parisian restaurant near the Theatre de la Porte Saint-Martin. Payard created the name of the recipe due to the play's notoriety. The play was highly controversial and was closed by the authorities, reopening in March 1896. The lobster thermidor at Maison Mer was served like Omar Americain, which was made with tomatoes, cayenne, and brandy, but with the addition of English mustard. An early London recipe for Omar Americain referred to a la thermidor as a version with the addition of English mustard. An early American recipe for lobster thermidor left out the tomatoes, cayenne, and mustard and added cream sauce thickened with bearnais and a sprinkling of grated cheese. It can be served with Newburgh sauce, but is differentiated from lobster Newburgh by the addition of tomatoes. So yeah, please excuse my horrible French, but basically that is the history of lobster Thermidor in so many words. So anyway, if you want to know exactly how lobster Thermidor is prepared, sadly the games it's featured in don't really cut it. We're going to have to go to an expert. That expert is Chef John from foodwishes.com. His video will be linked below. You'll just have to watch it for yourself over there. Anyway, so Chef John says in his blog for this recipe that he prepared lobster thermidor in culinary school in the 80s, and that his recipe is a bit of a modernized take on the original for very good reasons. So first of all, he just uses lobster tail which he describes as surprisingly affordable. 
and it isn't topped with bechamel at all because he says it hides the flavor of the lobster which um i totally can understand like i don't know why you would put a super heavy sauce on top of something so delicate and again expensive like lobster but whatever that was ancient times right <laughs> anyway if you um if you don't know what bechamel is it's uh it's one of the mother sauces in french cooking so uh even though it's stolen from the italians and if you've ever made like a mac and cheese like from scratch you probably already sort of know how to make it it's just a white sauce made with a roux um, it says in the wiki that traditional lobster thermidor is topped with Bernays, so I don't know when this switch to bechamel happened. I guess it happened when Americans used a thickened... No, it says the American recipe used Bernays. So, you know what? I'm not quite sure, but this change happened, I guess. So, to be honest, lobster thermidor is looking more and more like a dish that's masquerading as fancy and not too difficult at all. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty suspicious if you ask me. So to find a more traditional recipe, I went to Spruce Eats, which involves slicing whole lobsters clear in half, you know, live, and then baking them. So okay, I'll admit, cutting something that's alive clear in half is pretty difficult, but this recipe does have the bechamel, so okay, that looks right. Uh, researching further, Food and wine features a preparation where you simply boil the lobster to death, which is much easier. So yeah, I don't know. Again, it's not looking super difficult. So is lobster thermidor expensive? According to um, foodlocate.com, lol, the average price of lobster thermidor is $41.50 USD and $24.30 GBP. That's, um, I don't know how many expensive restaurants you've been to, and I say this as a member of the working poor, but that's not even that fancy. That's just a filet. That's just a nice steak price. Based on the perceived hype and cost of labor involved, I thought that this was going to be like a $50 to $60 dish. To be fair, many of the menus I looked at said market price, and I guess people may see that and say, ooh, fancy, since it's on like a sliding scale based on the season and weight cost of the lobster and how much the fisherman wants to sell it for. But to me, that just means get the lobster in season, which is basically year round in the States. It's not uni or anything. Well, another reason people may perceive lobster thermidor as fancy is simply because of the name. It's French, so maybe English speakers auto assume that that means fancy or something. Like, take creme brulee for example. Creme brulee is like a starter dessert in the restaurant world, but normies absolutely lose their minds over it. I mean, I did too before I made thousands of them. But I think the French name alone might make people think that they're getting something highbrow when it's just like eggs, sugar, and cream. So. Let's see how Lobster Thermidor is portrayed in games now. Uh, I only own two of these games, so I had to source some footage from other creators and links to their videos will be listed in the description as well as their, you know, usernames or whatever. So starting off with Restaurant Empire 2, um, you get the Lobster Thermidor recipe after competing in the French Nationals about like halfway through the game along with like a little money and whatever um so yeah i guess from this we can tell like it's a fancy special recipe oh also i did want to mention that for some reason restaurant empire 2 is such a little known game that my computer <laughs> literally thinks that it's resident evil 2 it's the applications listed as re2 so it literally just auto assumes that it means resident evil 2 but of course this is not Resident Evil 2. Anyway, I thought that was really funny. So, in Restaurant Empire 2, you get your lobster thermidor recipe, and then here, you know, we can uh, take a look at it. It looks pretty nice, honestly. It looks pretty true to life. I don't know about the orange slices, personally. Uh, that doesn't look too uh, good or traditional to me. But, for the most part, all of the ingredients look... Um, pretty up to snuff, you know, we got the butter, cheese, cream, flour, lobster, milk, mustard, onion, parsley, and sherry wine vinegar. Um, and basically when it comes down to the price, since this game gets, you know, really, um, really detailed when it comes to pricing, even if we use, as you can see here, I'm just, uh, using the highest quality ingredients for all of the available pieces and the cost is still only uh 714 per order 
and it sets the default price at $25.80. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding it into all my French restaurants, of course. <laughs> the, you can only cook it in the French restaurants in Restaurant Empire 2. But yeah, so 7 into 25, yeah, some, and for some reason it takes a grill, I don't know. But basically, it's not even like a times four on the price. Like, you're not even selling it for what it should be. It actually should be like 30-ish. It should be about $30, but they put it at $25.80. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's the best rundown I can give of Lobster Thermidor and Restaurant Empire 2, I guess. Uh, probably the best representation of it when it comes down to the pieces. So in The Sims 2, when your cooking skill is maxed out, as well as your hobby enthusiasm for cuisine, you will unlock the ability to prepare lobster thermidor. It's kind of like the ultimate um, dish, I guess. I don't, I, I'm not quite sure what to call it, but it does require high, I mean, full, <laughs> cuisine enthusiasm as well as full cooking skill so here we are i'm just gonna close up it looks pretty good honestly the graphic is like kind of incredible for this the sims 2 has great graphics but there's the lobster we just you know split it in half and now we are putting it in the oven so yeah i mean aesthetically it certainly looks like lobster thermidor it um I guess requires a lot of skill in order to prepare. Again, that is still up for debate. Um, and as you can see here, I am consistently checking the oven because it is very easy to burn. So I just want to make sure that I don't burn this dish. And yeah, there we go. There it is. All done. We're just eating a full lobster at 1030 in the morning on a Tuesday. That's totally acceptable. I mean, everyone does this, right? and yeah i guess we're really in the zone while we're eating it so yeah beautiful looking dish um looks great feels great moving on youtubers life too um yeah so i don't i don't own this game and um i'm definitely not gonna buy it just for this silly little video and um yeah, I, I don't know. I just I just really can't see myself buying this game. But again, so pretty hard to find footage for, but I was able to find a bunch of guides that refer to the Lobster Thermidor in the game. I guess it's a hated gift. It's like mostly hated and disliked. So, I mean, YouTuber's Life 2 takes a little bit <laughs> of a different approach when it comes to lobster thermidor. <laughs> I guess uh, some people uh, out there might know that it's a uh, snooty, sort of overpriced and uh, overhyped food, and uh, who'd have thunk it? Uh, YouTuber's Life 2 may very well have um, the opinion of lobster thermidor that is closest to my own. Not that I hate lobster or anything, but... Um, I actually like it, but yeah, I, I just, I don't, I don't see the appeal anyway. So in YouTuber's Life 2, you can um, buy Lobster Thermidor. I don't know if this is interesting for you, but <laughs> you can buy it at um, Alfie's and I guess don't give it as a gift. Yeah, so I guess... Um, there's not very much else to say. Uh, yeah, there is Lobster Thermidor in this game too, I guess. And uh, nobody likes it. Well, moving right along, in Cooking Mama 5, Bon Appetit, you are able to prepare lobster thermidor. This video is sourced from Why Narcissus 12's page. Uh, there will be a link to their page in the description. Their YouTube channel is full of videos from Cooking Mama 5, and it's kind of sick, honestly. So if you're into um, seeing what the Cooking Mama franchise has been up to, because I know I haven't watched or played the games like since probably the first one on the DS. 
it's kind of fun to uh, catch up and see what's good there. So obviously the, this game looks great. The preparation is pretty darn close. Here we are, we're making the roux, we're making the, the sauce here. Um, it's pretty accurate to the actual preparation of the dish. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's not very much to say. This is, this is, uh, how most food is portrayed in Cooking Mama 5. I'm not sure about the context under which you do prepare the meal, but it does seem to have perhaps more, um, individualized steps than most things. Like, I think if I can remember back to, like, doing shrimp tempura or something like that in the first game, I'm pretty sure it was only, like, three steps. And this one looks to have quite a few steps. Anyway, so there you are. Top, they're topping the, the lobster, throwing the cheese, and um, I think then we're going to put it in the oven. Yeah, so they're just gonna throw it in the convection oven and cook it till it's nice and brown, and it looks really nice, honestly. I think that uh, Cooking Mama did a really good job of representing the uh, sheer beauty of Lobster Thermidor, and so did Why Narcissus 12 as well. And last but not least, we have Lego Batman Lobster Thermidor Cook-Off. So yeah, as you might be able to tell, um, it's just a bunch of, um, I'm assuming convection ovens, though that commenter on Chef John's page did say microwaves. Um, so yeah, not foreshadowing or anything, but looks like a, you know, basic, like, fan, maybe fan-made Flash game to, like, hype up the movie or something, or whoever made the game was just like, oh, that's weird that that would be lego batman's favorite food or whatever i don't i don't really know why there's an association between lego batman and lobster thermidor but there just so happens to be um and yeah basically you just cook a bunch of lobsters and a big thank you to surprise and makes game channel for uploading this because obviously the game is inaccessible now since flash is dead rip flash that's a story for another time yeah so i don't know is lobster thermidor held in such high regard in video games because developers are like from a time when the dish was more popular have they just never been in the restaurant industry making them like a little easier to impress when it comes to a dish that just appears to be difficult to prepare what do you think are you impressed by this dish well, if I have to be completely honest, I'm not impressed. And to show you how unimpressed I am, I can promise that for my 1000 subscriber special, I will prepare Lobster Thermidor for everyone IRL. Um, hands only, of course, but really, honestly, truly, I think that I could very easily show you just how down to earth and easy this fancy dish is to prepare. And then maybe you can go off to impress your friends and family next time you have money and time to just burn up. You know, if I gotta be, you know, I'll, I'll be real with you. One of the greatest joys in life is tricking people into thinking that you're a good cook. So yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for over 150 subscribers. I didn't think that that was even possible to be completely honest. So I really, really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Again, thank you so much. And I will see you soon.